It was Abel Janzoon Tasman, a Dutchman, who was the first European to have sighted New Zealand in 1642. He called it Staatenland, later renamed as New Zealand. In 1769, the English explorer Captain James Cook landed on New Zealand and made perhaps the greatest impact on New Zealand's exploration. The terrain is predominantly mountainous with some large coastal plains. The surroundings are unspoiled. The native Maoris have claimed for centuries that consuming green-lipped mussels helps them to maintain good health. The reported incidence of arthritis was extremely low among the coastal dwelling Maoris who consumed large amounts of green-lipped mussels. Whereas Maoris who reside in the interior areas of the country had the same incidence of arthritis as New Zealanders of European origin. The combination of ancient legend and careful observation of the Maori's actual health patterns intrigued researchers in the United Kingdom, Australia, Austria and Japan. These researchers decided to investigate the mussels' reported anti-inflammatory activity. Eventually their efforts yielded Lipronol, an oil extracted from green-lipped mussels. The Marlborough Sounds Maritime Park region is a pristine marine area located far away from any agricultural, commercial or residential development. This is very important as the thickly forested slopes of the lands around the Marlborough Sounds Maritime Park and the complete absence of human development sites in the region prevent unwanted runoff and contaminants from entering the clear waters of the sounds. This reduces the chances of contaminating the mussels grown there. Mussels are grown by attaching themselves to long 120 metre ropes which extend from floating buoys. The process of farming mussels starts when the mussel spawn, known as spat, is collected. At this stage the spat is about the size of a grain of salt. The spat is gathered from seaweed in the wild. As the spat grows into a juvenile mussel, it is reseeded twice to give it more room to grow. Reseeding involves stripping the mussels from the line on which the mussels grow and then reseeding them again onto a line in a biodegradable mesh stocking which disintegrates naturally after a few weeks. By this time the stocking has disappeared. The mussels have reattached to the line. After 18 months of growth they reach a length of about 4 inches 110 millimetres, and this is considered the ideal size for harvesting. All mussel farming and processing operations in New Zealand are licensed and controlled by the New Zealand Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. This is to ensure that all mussels harvested are safe for human consumption and to protect the reputation and integrity of the New Zealand mussel industry. When the mussels are harvested, the line upon which the mussels are attached is passed through a stripping machine on the harvesting barge and the mussels are collected in large heavy-duty bags each holding a ton of wet weight mussels. These bags are quickly brought to shore and then placed into refrigerator trucks for the two-hour journey to the McLab Group's processing plant in Nelson. The McLab Group's processing plant is a newly built facility which became operational in March 1999. The plant and its design plans were approved by New Zealand's Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. This plant was constructed according to these bodies as well as the US FDA specifications. This plant is also EU registered. Once the mussels reach the plant they are immediately placed into a crusher which crushes the shells and the meat. If any heat is applied to the mussels during the processing, it will destroy the marine lipids. For this reason, steamed or cooked mussels contain no active marine lipids. The mussel meat and shells are then passed through the centrifuge machines which separates the meat from the shells into a slurry. The McLab group then applies to the mussel meat a particular organic acid under a patented mussel stabilization process. This patented stabilization process is necessary to preserve the marine lipids in the mussels and prevent their oxidization after freeze drying. 
the marine lipids will rapidly degrade if they're not immediately stabilised. The mussel meat is then loaded into trays and immediately placed in a large freeze-dry unit. In the freeze-dryer, the mussel meat is exposed to a complete vacuum and freezing temperatures for 22 hours. The product which results is freeze-dried stabilised mussel powder that is then crushed into smaller sizes. This small biscuit format is ground to a fine powder. This powder, which is stored at room temperature, is then packed into nitrogen-filled sealed foil bags to prevent oxidation. The freeze-dried stabilised powder is shipped in sealed foil bags to the extraction processor located outside of Nelson. Under a patent licence from PharmaLink International Limited, this method uses a supercritical fluid extraction process utilising liquefied carbon dioxide to extract the mussel's marine lipids. The patented liquid carbon dioxide supercritical fluid extraction process is the key to the extraction of liprinol. This is because the process does not use a chemical solvent which would have rendered liprinol unfit for human consumption no matter how minimal or benign the resulting chemical residue. Farberlink International Limited ships Liprinol in drums to RP Shearer Holdings Proprietary Limited in Victoria, Australia. This is where Liprinol is encapsulated into 260 mg soft gel capsules by the addition of further olive oil and a tiny amount of vitamin E to prevent oxidation. The product is also supplied in bulk form and encapsulated by other officers of RP Sharers. The Liprinol soft gel capsules are normally packed into pharmaceutical style foil blister pack platforms which are then boxed. Liprinol has been exposed to critical review by many research institutions worldwide and is proven to have significant anti-inflammatory activity by inhibiting leukotriene synthesis. Leukotrienes are formed in the body via the lipoxygenase pathway and are responsible for initiating and extending the inflammatory process. Liprinol is a powerful inhibitor of the 5-lipooxygenase pathway, thus its ability to markedly reduce the damaging effects of persistent inflammation. Inflammation can be found in various allergic reactions, including arthritis and other inflammatory disorders, including inflammation of all parts of the body which affect your everyday life. Liprinol is very effective and safe for all ages.